Hey everybody, welcome to Makeup Gourmet Live. We made it to episode 4 of our 400 episode series and we're very excited. So with no further ado, it's Makeup Gourmet Live, episode 4, Decollete Care. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, now we have to get started. So today I'm pretty excited uh, because my very good friend and who's offered me uh, a lot of advice during the years. Um, in fact, she's the one who coined the phrase for me, authentic. Um, when I was writing my book, uh, what's it called? Face with the Heart, Mastering Authentic Beauty Makeup. So I'm with this Juliet, and uh, she's a really smart person, and uh, she's very helpful uh, with what I do. And so I'm glad she's here today. She's the one who said, hey, why don't you do an episode on decollete care, right? Yeah. And I thought, and I thought, what? I don't, huh? Oh, okay. Why not? Because I really like skincare, but I don't really know, you know, I didn't feel appropriate approaching decollete care for, I don't know, whatever reason. But when she mentioned it, I thought, everybody wants to know this, right? They do. And you show your chest off a lot, especially in the summer. And is it summer now? It is. And it's summer now. So we have to get ready. We have to get cooking. So remember, during the show today, all of you have the opportunity to be able to chime in. And all that really means is in the live chat section, um, and I do have it up and running uh, to this episode. The last one it was up and running, but I didn't have access to it. But as I look over here, I'm looking at the live chat section of my uh, of my um, screen, and I can see you know if there's any questions, we can get to get to them. So this is a this is a lot of information, but also sort of a action packed. Uh, as far as what we're going to be showing you today. So um, just get ready for some fun stuff uh, as we move along. Uh, don't forget, we always have a featured product and a cart discount that we'll be sharing with you a little bit later. Uh, so that'll also be fun. So, decollete, right? Yes. It's as exposed as our face. It is as exposed as our face, and it sees a lot of the sun. Especially when we're driving. Yeah, a lot of the sun. Same with our hands. And people go, why are my hands the gold of the man? How I feel? It's because they're out there and we don't go gobs of sunblock every day on our hands before we drive, right? Or even this side of the neck with the, as you're driving, you know, that, that wind, that uh, sun coming in right there, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, Juliet mentioned the decollete will age about seven years faster than the face. And there's some, and there are some reasons for that. So first of all, I want to talk about just the muscular makeup of what is the decollete, you know? Well, obviously, it's that area that's just, it's between our neck. Yeah, there, there we go, right there. That's the decollete. Um, and it's what's funny about this skin here is it doesn't have the muscle base like the neck does. The neck muscles are very strong because they support the jaw and the head, but then they don't really attach. Turn towards the camera for me. Turn your body they don't really attach here so this area doesn't the muscles here aren't really they're very few uh, and they're um and it's hard to strengthen them we'll talk about how to strengthen them later um but that's why this area can lose elasticity so quickly also very much like our eye area and our lip area the skin is more thin uh, and so what that means is there's fewer oil glands and really what gives you elasticity is oil just give me some elasticity, give me some lubrication, right? Yes. Yeah. And right here, a lot of time, you get a lot of wrinkles. Why? Because this area doesn't have as much elasticity as well. Right, right, all the way. And that's the spot that, like, like if you if you walked up to Juliet and you don't want to look at her eyes, the next place you're going to look is here just because that's just how it is. Um, and so you really want to take care of that area as much as possible. Um, and so that's what we're going to, you know, help help you with uh, in terms of protecting that area. So there's, there's, you don't have all the fatty tissues here. You don't have the oil glands. Also, this area is kind of a funny area in that it's um, slower to heal from injury for the same reason, you know, that blood supply that, that heals us without that thicker layer of skin that really gives you all those reparative blood cells, you know, it, it's more prone to injury. And so an injury can be a sunburn. You know, yes. and so once you get burned there, 
it, it's harder for your skin to repair itself. And so, as with all things, protect your skin always. Always, always, always. And we'll say this about 50 times during the, the show today. Protect yourself always. Um, because it's so much easier to protect and repair. But if, if you feel like repair is necessary, there's so much you can do. So let's focus on decollete care. You know, what is decollete care? Um, the thing is, we're human, we're living, let's have a good time, right? But at the same time, you know, if you want to go through life with grace and you, you, you sort of enjoy the smoothness of your skin, there are things you can do. So what I think is, regardless of your age, younger or older, you should always be, you know, taking care of protecting yourself for so many reasons. You know, besides health reasons, I mean, beyond just beauty reasons, you know, health reasons, right? Skin cancer, and, and which really is really the ultimate bad thing that can happen with not protecting your skin. Yes, and I think that um, putting SPF on here will just be a nice way of... Um protecting your skin and you can always add you know to your face and you can add it back to your decollete because we don't think about that area as much as we should so what's really cool is so what I what what I discovered in my research excuse me my glasses are bugging me what I discovered in my research was that don't just think of your face care think of all of this as one area when you're taking care of yourself and that's something that I really don't stress with my clients when I Talk to them about skin care. Well, unless they ask me, because I actually have key products that when I made my my own brand of skin care, I wanted stuff that addressed those areas, areas of concern. But it's funny, again, I just think it's funny that I just don't voice it a lot. So um, think of this whole area, you know, here to here, turn towards the camera, from here to here, as you're doing your, as with your cleansers, your toners, your serums, your moisturizers, your exfoliator, most importantly, that's the area that matters. Um, so w what can you do? Uh, I mean, if you're younger, you want to protect, and if you're more mature, for the most part, you probably need to do some repair and protect, yes. And antioxidants, so the vitamin C is really good for antioxidants. Um, to help protect your skin from environmental damage. Issues. And I'll talk about antioxidants um, in, just, in just a second because um, I have a really good analogy for antioxidants that once you hear it, you'll go, are you kidding me? Give me some antioxidant now. So number one, sun protection. I did some research more on sunblock because there's always a lot of controversy on how high of a number, how low of a number, if it's in my moisturizer, is it enough, all that good stuff. So here's what I discovered, SDF 50. It's a real solid number. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to protect you from about 98% of the damage that you can get. But here's the thing. You want to get a full spectrum sunblock. So if you're using, let's say, a body sunblock and you're putting just a body sunblock there, a lot of them only address the burning rays, the UVB rays. Um, and the UVA rays are just as aging as the B rays, but in a different way. So we'll talk about those. So make sure when you're looking at your products that it's a full spectrum. So the two rays that reach our skin. First of all, UVB. When you hear B, it means burning, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The burning rays. Those are the ones that produce melanin in the skin, makes our skin red, and ultimately can make our skin look weathered, leathery, um, dark spots, all that good stuff that we just really don't want to have surface, right? Yes. Yeah, and then the UVA rays are the aging rays. Think A for aging, and what those bad boys are is they're the ones that break down the collagen. They just break down the, the elasticity in the skin, so they're kind of invisible. They're not really damaging you in terms of uh, burning, but they break down the collagen, and so you lose elasticity, so the skin becomes slack and lines. Did you somebody say? Yes, oh. I'm agreeing with you. And she's in agreement with me. So, no, UVA, age, UVB, burn. You want to protect from both. And, of course, the ultimate bad boy in UVB is skin cancer, right? It's just protect it. Um, one thing my doctor asked me once, he goes, when I, he goes, you wear sunblock? I go, yes, every day. He goes, you put it on your ears? And I went, I don't think so. And guess what? And I put it on my ears, right? Because those little things are exposed, and you can it can show up anywhere. So, when you, so what I discovered is that there are... Um, there are really good ingredients for rejuvenating the skin. And these are things that I've incorporated in my skincare already. 
But it's good through my research to have it reiterated and sort of reinforced because the, the, the number one thing that I always believe in in keeping the skin refreshed on a daily basis without you know, overstressing your skin is uh, our uh, glycolic acids. Sometimes they're called alpha hydroxy acids, fruity acids. They're, they come in many, many forms. But the point is you want to be able to to slightly loosen those dead skin cells. You are, in fact, making them, those surface dead skin cells detach themselves slightly prematurely. Okay, yes, and you make new skin every, say, 14 days if you're 14 years old, 40 days if you're 40 years old. So what does that mean? So you make new skin, so you want to take off and slough off the old dead skin cells. Right, because what does encourages fresh skin cells to come up to the top, right? Because right. all, all a young skin cell is is a big, round, juicy cell full of oxygen, full of, you know, light. And, and youth, young-looking skin is bright, it's translucent, and the skin cells are full, so the texture is smooth. As skin cells age, they start to collapse. They flatten. They don't reflect light as well. They're not as translucent, so skin looks more dull and not as bright. I say it's kind of like concrete. So what does that mean? So the dead skin cells are like concrete where it's um, the grayish looking. Yeah. And it's you know hard for, if you keep that concrete or those dead skin cells on, it's hard for the new skin cells to come about. So we got to get rid of that concrete. And Juliet has, uh, has um, she's offered to demonstrate um, concrete removal today. So we're quite excited about the concrete removal. So anyway, glycolic acids. They're great, great things to do. Um, the other things that, that I really love are retinols, retinoids. These are derivatives of vitamin A, but it's not retin A. Retin A is a prescribed, very super powerful, um, I don't want to call it a medicine, but it's awesome. And I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. But the retinols and the retinoids, they're great because what they're going to do is they're going to speed up the cellular turnover in the skin um, and promote you know, collagen buildup in the skin. They're, they're reparative. And so if you have dark spots, it fades those dark spots. Uh, it, what is lines. It, it, it helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in so many products. So, you know, be choosy. You, want, you might as well get, if you're going to put moisturizer on, you might as well put that stuff on because it's going to be good for you, right? And then the other thing is, uh, and... Julia mentioned earlier is antioxidants. Now, antioxidants are they're they're nasty little buggers. Basically, think of it this way: when something oxidizes, it rusts, right? Mm. It, it just gets it just you and you know what rust is. And so, basically, oxidants rust your skin. They decay the skin because they're they're basically damaging surface that skin cell or surface skin cells, and it's just not a good thing. Oxidants basically block that. That sort of it's kind of this crazy electron that's in the air that spins and, and damages your 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 uh, your fresh skin cell and so antioxidants protect from that. Pollution would be a good example of yeah. What what's in what? Oxidants. Where does antioxidants come from? Right, it's basically you know stuff that we create you know that we live in, but we live in it. So protect it face. Chest, you know, wherever you're, you're, wherever you don't want to get, wherever you don't want to rust, and that was the analogy that I wanted to talk about because rust is bad. Okay, um, and so like I said, there's so many things that uh, you know, there's like vitamin A is an antioxidant, but or, but also there's a lot of natural uh, green tea extract, right? Uh, and, and the list really just goes on and on and on. So it doesn't, it does matter, but it doesn't matter really what antioxidants you're using. In my opinion, it really is just use one. You know, make sure it's in your product. Have something that's doing that. Are you in agreement? I am. All right, so those are the ingredients. So let's talk about, you know, pro how can you deliver that product on a daily basis? And this is where I get excited because I discovered through my research that my brand actually sort of supports everything that, I, that, I, that I've been talking about. So the first thing that I want to show you uh, today is, um, like, the good products to use. Let me find my first one here. Um, so your cleanser, if you're, I happen to have a cleanser called the Renewing Cream Cleanser, and that's it over there. Um, and this is, what's great about this is, um, is that this product contains glycolic acid. So when you clean your skin, you're getting that glycolic, um, you're getting that, that glycolic boost. So did you want to demonstrate the cleanser or are you going to do just the, the exfoliator today? I, I want to demonstrate the cleanser as well. It's demonstrate. So Julia's going to take a little bit of the Renewing Cream Cleanser. Da -da. Yes, that's very fun. <laughs> Carol Merrill. And she, so tell us what you're doing. So I'm going to clean my face. 
And I want to make sure I get all of the dirt and gunk and my day off my face. Okay. So she's dipping her hands in a little water. I'm making it really frothy. Frothy. So here we go. So she's using these circular motions. She's kind of vigorous with her cleansing, um, which is interesting to me. I'm, I'm like, I'm a more gentle cleanser with my skin. Um, are you doing going fast because, is that, is that your speed normally? Yes. You get it and go. See, she's an esthetician. I'm not. Um, but yeah, I do this. Every, and you do this. And, and while you're doing the face, you're, what are you going to do? You're going to do the decollete too, right? I am going to do the decollete. I am going to do the decollete. I am going to do the decollete. See, so while you're in the shower, why not just why not just get clean and get that the uh, the benefits of that glycolic all the way down in that area as well, right? You don't. So it, I yes? go for about one minute in this whole area. Good. And then how do you then you just rinse it off with water, or how do you, how do you take it off? You can either do water or a washcloth, a wet washcloth, depending what on what you today? like. So I'm just going to um, dip my hands in water. She's doing the water dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. So I think it's really important if your skin sees pollution or the day, or if you wear makeup on this whole area, yes. to make sure you take it all off. Take your makeup off. So you take all your makeup off. Oh, of course. You take your day off. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. The, uh, it's, uh, every day, every time you don't take off your makeup, you age your skin. Okay. Is it seven days? I think it's seven days is the, is what I was taught in, in skincare. You know, you make your skin seven days older, which, you know, can't be that much, but accumulatively, I guess there's some kind of a cum cumulative factor. And here's a towel. Why don't you go ahead and wipe that off and let's move on to the next um, product. So the next product that we're going to talk about are serums. You might use a toner in between, and there are toners that have some glycolics in them, but we're going to move uh, straight on to... Um, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm going to rinse my face off. Show with us, it. please. With a um, washcloth. Oh, okay. So for me, this is what I like. Some people like dipping their whole face in the water, but this is a quick one-two for me. Don't you do this in the shower? Sometimes you can do it in the shower, or sometimes you have to do it at night. Mm. People don't. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you're. Uh, I under I understand everything you just said. All right, good. Nice and clean. Feeling nice and clean. Great. Now, are we ready to scrub? No scrub. Oh, oh. we're going to scrub first, and then we're going to do treatment. Correct? Yes. All right, so we're going to scrub. So this is the part where I want to talk a lot while she scrubs. So um, first of all, let me show you what we're using because that's exciting, isn't it? Um, I got this really great micro exfoliating scrub and this is the featured product of the day. So some live chat participant is going to win this um, and this is an, a great exfoliator. So how much do you use? I use about hold two on, pea hold sizes. On, hold on, wait. Yeah, show us how much you use. So again, two pea sizes. Two peas. Eat all your peas. Yes. Go for it. So she's warming it up, getting it slightly damp in her fingertips. No, for me, it's natural for me to do my face, but I want... But this episode's called Decollete Care. I want to do my decollete. I'm starting to pay much her. more attention to She can to stay on in between. So what I heard was that another, another good thing to do is to work in a circular motion towards the heart. It's good for the lymphatic circulation. Um, and I believe in that stuff, right? So rather than circling out away from your body, which feels natural, circling in, how do you feel about that? I think it feels really good and you're right. But like from one side, so one side towards the heart, don't go across the heart, move towards it. And then the other side towards it this way, right? So yes. yeah. So you're going towards the heart. Here, let me see your hands. Ready? Towards Heart. That's this way, right? This way you're moving away, so you pull that way. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good, good, good. So, excellent. Go ahead and rinse that off. So, let's talk about exfoliation for a minute. What you're doing is you're encouraging the dead skin cells to say bye-bye. Now, some of them are ready to say bye-bye, and they're going to come off, but some of them aren't ready. You can loosen them further, but if you say, sucker, I'm going to get you off, and you... And you really forcefully, like, I'm going to exfoliate for a year, year's worth right now, 
you're damaging your skin because you're tearing off fresh living skin cells that aren't ready to come off and you're creating little cuts in your skin. So instead of your skin going into replenish mode, it goes into repair mode, which means it's sending blood cells to sort of seal the breaches, the little tiny tears you put in the skin. So I always think of um, your uh, exfoliation as, in, in a weird way, an act of seduction. You want to seduce those dead skin cells. So it's not how fast you do it, it's how long you do it. You see the, the rate that I'm using my fingers? That's how I exfoliate. It's, it's, it's just sort of like get, getting them sort of dizzy. It just They go, oh, okay, I'll let go. And they fall off. If you force them off, then you, you create a little bit of tension. Do you agree with all this? I like the getting the dizzy and then they just slough off. Yeah, they just, bye-bye. So, and that's how you seduce them. But, you know, but it really is a healthier way to go. Uh, but you still want to do it at least once a week, right? Keep that. In, but now all those skin cells are exposed, so let's protect our skin. So first, let's start with the serum. I have two serums here. Uh, first one's line diffusing treatment. So peptides. If you're not familiar with peptides, peptides and neopeptides, they're great little buggers to help relax the appearance of uh, lines and wrinkles. So go ahead, and she's just going to put um, a little bit of this treatment on her skin where she has some fine lines. Um, you don't put it where you, it's not prevention. Go ahead. So I am getting fine lines right here. So this is the area that I would put it. Yeah. Any place you see those fine lines, and of course on the face too, this product, you know, around the eye area. For me, I use it around the eye area. Any place lines are, 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 are happening, it's a, remember it's a serum. Serums are like vitamins uh, with your food. They're concentrated doses um, that if you put this product, this, that, neo, that peptide into a moisturizer, it's too diluted so you don't get the maximum effect. So it's like a vitamin. And we take the vitamins that our body needs, and so it's a very selective vitamin. Um, the next product that, uh, that your, Juliet's your name, what Juliet's going to use is um, my favorite product. It's called Age Defying Serum. And it has so many good things in it. Wait, let me show you the picture. Because the picture tells, I don't know what it tells. Wait, can I show it to you? Um, yes, here it is right here. Uh, my Age Defying Serum. Um, it is the most expensive piece in my skincare, $29. So, which means that anything else I've shown you obviously is less. Um, so go ahead, go for it. Um, why I love this product is it uses sodium hyaluronic. Uh, so I would say put this all over. Okay. Put this all over. Uh, it's a serum. Sodium hyaluronic, go, go for it. Sodium hyaluronate is a hyaluronic acid and it, it, what they what it, it and hyaluronic acids exist in our body already it's what's in our joints and what's it's what keeps moisture in our joints they they attract and hold moisture so by putting that into our skin it attracts it maximizes water retention in that top layer of skin and really that's all that young skin i mean one thing that young young skin has going for it is it's full of water because those skin cells are are rejuvenating in themselves so quickly that, that they're always fat, round, and juicy and full of, 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 of water and oxygen. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. And, it's, and so you would do that. And then the last, and now, I love this product. Um, this is my, make sure this is right, my, my glycolic recharge night cream. Now this product is, uh, do you want to cut and swab you got it? Okay, you're good. This is nice and thick. I love this. You see, it's nice and thick, and she loves it. I love this product too, because... No matter what, you put it on, but it doesn't um, it doesn't get greasy because what you don't want is greasy on your chest during the day. You know, it's just kind of gross. Um, so my, my glycolic recharge night cream, it's a 4.31% glycolic for those who know what that means. Um, but this is, a, this is a great night cream no matter what. Your skin will, you'll wake up and your skin feels soft and hydrated still. But the glycolics are, are what's powerful. But here's what you have to remember. Go ahead. Go for it. So I just want to note that I put it on my fingertips. Tell them. Because Show them. I want it to go on my face, not all over my hands. Uh-huh. So you put it on your fingertips. Yes. Ah, nice. So décolleté. Décolleté. Let's get more on the décolleté. Get a little bit more, please. All right. Because... Really, we even even watching Juliet um, demonstrate this, I I sense that she pays more attention to her face and her décolleté 
and because that's what I always do, but I think that we need to pay attention to our decollete as much as our face um, and, and give it the same amount of treatment, the same amount of product, the same amount of worth because that's what we show. And if you're ever in a position where you feel self-conscious about how your decollete looks, you know, that's just, that, it makes me sad because, you know, life is short. You want to wear the cute top, what have you, and it's, it's not good to have those, like, negative feelings about yourself. So, you know, the more you can take care of that area, the more confident you feel. Don't you agree? Yes, and even men like to wear their shirts pretty low sometimes. Yes, not so. like me, though. Up to the top, straight laced. Yes, go ahead. So I think it's a good idea for men as well to... Lift um, your chin for me. She got a little bit right there to get rubbed in. Protect their chest area. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Really good points. So um, then after all of this, she needs to slap on sunblock. So let's talk about sunblock. When do you use it? I don't care if there's sunblock in your foundation. I don't care if there's sunblock in your moisturizer. You need to use a separate sunblock if you want to protect your skin. I'll tell you why. First of all, your, if it says SPF 30, good for it but it's diluted. And let's say you're putting on a moisturizer that's SPF 30, you're not putting it on to the thickness that you would put on a sunblock. So you're maybe getting an SPF 15 at best there, so you're going into the sun under false pretenses. But the other thing um, about, uh, about uh, sunblock is when do you use it? Um, you want to, some people go, I'm gonna put it on first because I want to protect my skin, and then I'll put my product on top. Uh-uh, because then your product doesn't get into your skin. You want to get all that juicy goodness into your skin, and then the closest to the sun, the last thing you put on is your sunblock. Your full spectrum, SPF 50, please, uh, UVA, UVB block, full spectrum. Because the sun's going to hit that first, and it's going to protect, while underneath all the goodness is happening, right? It's like a dome. It protects your skin. It's the dome that's going to protect your skin. And don't we, I want to protect them. Well, I have a dome, and so that's why I wear a hat, because I need protection for my dome. Um, so there, is a, there are a couple of exercises you can do. Um, really, basically very simple. If you just lay flat, say you lay flat on your back like this, and let's say this is your head right here. What you do is you, you put your head on a little thin pillow, just lift your neck, okay? But don't use your abdomen, just your neck. You raise it up this way and release. So, what you, so when you do that, what's happening is you're strengthening this mu muscle group right through here. The minute you grab your abs, this disengages. So you're laying flat, and you do this, you do this, and then turn your head to one side and do it again, going up and then down, up and then down, and then the other side. Now, when you're done doing this, you kind of want to counter stretch. So get back up on your knees. Right, your, your little yoga. What do they call that pose when you're on your knees? Is it the child pose? I don't know, something like that. And then you, then lifting from the chest, you lift up and you look at the roof, and because it's a counter stretch and it feels really good. And so all these things combined, you got one going on décolleté, right? Uh, oh, I have a couple questions here. Um, I read that using uh, a wash with glycolic acid is waste because it doesn't stay on the skin long enough to do any good. What's your take on it? Really good question. Not at all. Glycolics are designed to loosen dead skin cells. Glycolics in and of themselves are not exfoliants. What they do is they loosen the dead skin cell so that it is, pr it is prone to, de to disattach. Deattach? What's the word? Um, Detach. Sooner. Detach. Detach. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Detach sooner than later. Um, any presence of glycolic acids are good, but the minute you use them on your skin, I, even if you use it and you rinse it off, make sure you use sunblock. Um, so, yes, use, use glycolics. I believe in them all the time because for myself and for my clients, I've, I've seen like a, a lot of difference. And thank you, um, thank you, Helen, from, I don't know, wait, not Helen. No, 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 this is Holly. Hollis, Hollis W. I said Helen. That's why I have glasses. Um, so that's my take on it. I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, type me back and say, what the heck did that mean? Um, so we were talking about exercise. Now, for some of us, there's brown spots, and I don't care how much licorice root extract you use or whatever. That brown spot, it's going to fade, but it's not going to go away. Well, of course, there are medical treatments. Dermatologists are very good at uh, a, do, you know, doing dark spot removal. They do line fillers if you want to go into that. I'm not I'm not suggesting that you that you do this. All I'm saying is that it's available for those who want it. But here is where Retin-A is amazing. 
Retin-A is the only product that can actually correct damaged skin. It can actually correct it. Everything else can correct the appearance of damaged skin, but Retin-A literally corrects the damaged skin cell. Now that's amazing. But yes. So you're saying that SPF 50 protects and then Retin-A corrects. I am saying that. Great. Yes. And when you use Retin-A, sunblock all the time. All the time. It stays in your skin a long time. And the reason being is it's kind of like, it's kind of counterintuitive in that, um, it's counterintuitive in that if you are exposed to sun and you use Retin-A, you get hyperpigmentation worse. And so you get this dark spot that's even harder to get rid of, which is kind of a pisser, right? So the point is Retin-A is awesome. You want to get the right amount. It has to be prescribed. I, I believe in it. I've never used it, so what do I know? But I've seen the results, and I do think it's – if you want to repair damaged skin uh, from sun damage, which is 90% of our, sun, our skin damage anyway, Retin-A, don't waste your time with anything else. I mean, if, if you have deep repair, yes. So, and if I could recommend, I use um, the retinol at night. Retinol. The retinol. And that's one of the ingredients that you have Yeah, yeah. In Ret here. Right. You can use retinol. Ret retinol and retinoids, they're like 100% more, I mean, less diluted. They're diluted by 100 times. So they're, that's why we can sell them over the counter. But the retin-A stuff is super potent. Right, it's you know, it's it's like taking aspirin uh, as opposed to what Vicodin or something. Right, you can buy the aspirin, but you want the Vicodin, you know, your doctor's got it's the same kind of thing. Uh, so um, protect your skin big, big time with the Retin A. Uh, the other thing that can happen, uh, just real quick, um, Holly says, "Thank you for answering my question." Oh, Holly, you're so welcome. And guess what, Holly? I want you to get excited right now. I want you to stand up in your chair. Um, hold on for a second because today. Holly, you are the winner of the Feature Product Microexfoliating Scrub. That is so exciting. Hold on for a second. I have to really acknowledge this in, in, the, in the proper way. Um, wait, wait, is this the right one? No. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong one. Uh, where's my little applause button? Is this it? Uh, well, I was going to give you some applause, but I can't find the stupid applause button. Yay, Holly. So, Holly, uh, would you, in the live chat, just let me know how to reach you. Oh, yay, Holly! Yay! I'm... And now, Chris, can I put that your SPF on? Your product, your skincare product SPF? You may. So, but here's the deal. Oh. Yes, you already put the moisturizer on, but I don't sell an SPF on its own. My moisturizers have them. Okay. So, so I did put it on. Right. So what, so what I'm going to recommend is that you use the kind of SPF that I'm talking about, which is not part of my product line, which is a pure SPF, SPF 50 full spectrum. Right. Okay. I have some, but it's not right here. Yes. I'll give it to you later. Is that okay? Is that <laughs> yes. okay? Thanks for watching. Okay. Good. Um, Holly, info at makeupgourmet.com. Info at makeupgourmet.com. Send me your, uh, your information and I'll ship you that product uh, ASAP. Uh, so before we close, the other thing I want to tell you is that uh, plastic surgeons, you know, if you're a person who is wants to go that route, you know, they do chest and neck lifts. I mean, if really it's to the point where you're like, I, I really want to fix this in a major, major way, um, you know, it's something to consider. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not suggesting it, but I am saying that it's out there and, you know, I would use you know, all, all your discretion at, at all times. When, when you do those kind of things. So just remember everybody, question? I would say the best, but you also have to do home care. So you wanna always make sure that you cleanse and moisturize and then use the serums, um, whatever it is that you want. Right, and all of this is in addition. To do that means that you're already doing everything else. And and at that point you're like, I want better results. And you can continue doing those those results. Because yeah, doesn't mean you do that once and it's over with, no. that's. That's not life, you know. We, gotta, we have to brush our teeth and our clean our silverware every day, right? That's just how it is. Practice makes perfect. And well, I should practice more. So I want you all to know that uh, the twenty percent twenty percent cart discount um, is going to be uh, the code is Mug Live fourteen for uh, season one episode four Mug Live fourteen. 
Go to the you can everything you put in the cart, you're gonna get 20% off unless the product is already a value bundle, unless it's already discounted. Um, if it is, then it's already less than 20%. So, but don't but buy that in a separate cart because the, the code won't work for it. Did you want to say something? Yes, and I would recommend this line diffusing um, product, especially for right here. Now that it's summertime, you're gonna be showing more skin. This would be a great product to add to your collection. Line infusing treatment. Oh, my skincare is really, really good. I decided just to get stuff, ingredients that I know work, and you know, put put them on. Um, so next week, very, very exciting. We already have our topic. We're going to be uh, featuring makeup for light hair, light eyes, light skin. Uh, yeah, because you know, so I'll give you a teaser. Um, light hair, light eyes, light skin. It's like getting a blank canvas where you can do anything because you because your colors aren't fighting any other kind of intensities um, and we'll go into that more as we uh, you know go into uh, for next week's episode and then after that we're going to take a week off and then we'll coming coming back so remember the way that I what makes me happiest and you want to make me happy is that I love it when you suggest topics um, because if you suggest a topic for me, um, it what I'm doing is I'm voicing your voice, um, and really, I feel like I'm connecting with you know what your real concerns are. I have plenty to show you and plenty to talk about, but I'd like to know what you want to know. And and if and if that's the case, and you're like, yeah, I want to know about this stuff. And if you do live, you know, in or near San Francisco, you can appear on this program. Uh, it's real simple. We'll, we'll just connect and I'll, you know, I have a lot of stuff for you to, we'll talk about it a little bit just to get you sort of make sure you want it. This is the thing you want to do. And if it is, it'll be fun. And you get free product for being, you know, for being on the show. And that's fun. Uh, I don't know if Juliet knows that, but she does get free product for being on the show. So um, really, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, let me check my, uh, my stuff here. I think you're talking about prescription... So I'm going to talk to Holly after after the program. Um, so thank you so much for uh, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Makeup Gourmet Live. Thank you.